What's up YouTube? It's your buttery voiced host El Heftismo with another video for you today. If you're wondering if something's different about me today, uh, you're right. Uh, I admit, I'll come clean. I trimmed my mustache a little bit. I hope it looks okay. Um, uh, but moving along, I uh, got a kind of a different sort of video for you today. Uh, my brother Tui was playing Dauntless the other day. Um, free to play uh, game, kind of like Monster Hunter. Anyways, he's playing and he's fighting uh, Ember Main, and uh, all of a sudden he was telling me how uh, halfway through the fight or so, the thing just kind of went invisible. It was a glitch. It just kind of just straight disappeared. You couldn't really see it. So he, he decided to continue to fight it um, and ended up booping it, which is a term for interrupting it, uh, while it was invisible. Uh, pretty, pretty crazy video, so I thought I'd throw it up on the channel for you. Uh, hope you enjoy. Um, here it is, and always, always appreciated, but not necessary. Uh, if you like what you're seeing, hit the like button, subscribe, and uh, yeah, in, in, enjoy the video. Tui? Oh, oh, hold on. Tui, what the fuck? Yeah! Alright, so here's the video. Uh, my brother called me in, uh, probably, you know, obviously at the end of the fight when he was already invisible. Um, but we were able to get, you know, the prior 15 minutes because this was on PS4. And that's how the recording works on that. So I edited out most of the boring stuff in the beginning, got basically to the meat of the fight for you guys. Um, so here he is, uh, while well, he's still vi uh, visible, obviously. Um, he's about to run away because he's about 50% health or so, something like that. Um, and, uh, when, when my brother finds him, he's invisible for the phase two. So without further ado, uh, here's, here's the, here's what happened. Okay. As you can see, like I said, he's, uh, still visible, normal, normal fight with Ember Main. Some molten orbs there. Fire resist, get the boop. Um, pretty sure he runs away in a minute here. Yep, there he goes. Okay. So, uh, it was uh, shortly after this, my brother called me in. He was, uh, looks like, just farming some stuff looking for looking for the second uh, part of the fight that I think that rubber that rubber band glitch there is he told me is what kind of clued him in that something wasn't right something was something was amiss but uh, shortly like I said when he finds him uh, is was was when it was clear that that something was definitely wrong something glitched um, this is before the most recent patch 8.0 0.3 or I, I don't remember what it is exactly I apologize but um, yeah here he is he's invisible and uh, I know Tui had a hell of a time fighting him but he decided to keep the fight going and uh, here it is so as you'll notice he's not totally invisible um, when he does his unstable attacks you can still see the lines around his face and then if you kind of pay close attention, you can also see the footprints in the sand of where he's going. So while he's visually invisible, his, his character at least, uh, you can kind of make out where he is, uh, where he's going. And if, if you know the attack patterns well enough, you can fight him. So uh, I think yeah, he was using a Drask sword, it looks like, for the fight. Probably looking, looking to cut the tail, which is probably going to be next to impossible to do when you can't see him. You're just going to be hoping to, hoping to do damage when you can, where you can. He definitely took some damage. It wasn't a perfect run. He he uh, he took his fair share of hits, but he 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 dealt it he dealt it out back, and. Uh, 
coming up soonish. There's uh, he ended up booping him a couple times as well. Uh, again, like I mentioned earlier, booping is a term uh, for like interrupting certain behemoths do these uh, unstable attacks, and if you hit them at the right time, you can interrupt them and they go down, and you can you know do a ton of damage to them. So. That's what he's hoping to do when he's, he's trying to track those red lines so he can get that interrupt and then kind of guess where he's going to be at to sink in some heavy damage and hopefully end the fight. Again, watching for those, see those lines around where the, where the face will be for the unstable attacks. Uh, kind of sometimes just having, if you lose track of him, just, just swinging your sword. Can't tell exactly where he is. Sounds like he might be close, trying to get... Get your bearings of where he is. Again, like I said, he was uh he definitely took his fair share of damage, as you can see. But uh pretty exciting fight, I think. Um Certainly interesting trying to fight a virtually invisible, well, certainly invisible, but trackable monster or behemoth, excuse me, don't want to get sued. Um, yeah. Oh, yep, there it is. There's So there's one, there's the, one of the first boops, as they say, as the kids say. Um, but yeah, so he did a pretty good job, it looks like, on finding him and, uh, and, and laying in some damage while he was down. And also, if you'll notice, the the little bubbles. Um, that happens when a behemoth is ready to be staggered. Um, so that was also, I think that was also a, you know, a good thing to help Tui kind of see where, see where the monster was for the for the rest of the fight. Um, if if you can kind of notice, it looks like he's trying to avoid actually staggering him and trying to <laughs> to leave the the bubbles there. Looks like he's going for another boop. He said, I'm pretty sure he gets one. As you can see, he just said he's a revive. Again, it's not a perfect run, but uh, if I do say so myself, wasn't wasn't too terrible. Yeah, as you can see, he's trying to just keep track of those footprints, and he's uh, he's looking to land another boot with another interrupt, so he can lay some heavy damage down. Still keeping those bubbles there, trying to. Trying to hit close to the tail, maybe, to not stagger him. Keep those bubbles there. Sometimes, right there, like, right there, getting kind of lucky. Swinging into the, into the unknown. You know, just hoping to... Almost like kind of battleship, you know, you hit one part, you know. Oh, there's, okay, so there's a second... There's a second uh, interrupt. Trying to lay down some heavy damage while he's down. Oh, yep, and there it is. There's the there's the completion. There's the victory. Um, again, not bad. I don't think ten minutes S plus decent rank. Uh, I think he did pretty well. Uh, it was it was fun to watch. It was exciting. It was kind of strange. It was definitely some kind of glitch, but uh, made it through it pretty impressive he's also a bit of a tool so uh, he did some kind of showboating I guess here at the end uh, that I'll put in the video cuz I'm a good brother and uh, yeah that was it using a using a Drask sword against the behemoth uh, I think the Drask sword was plus five if I'm not mistaken maybe maybe plus six um, it certainly wasn't all the way up but uh, yeah, that was the video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And everybody, go out there and do good things because no one else is going to. And if everyone did one good thing for someone else each day, this world wouldn't be such a crappy place. Uh, thanks again for watching from everyone here at HefTV. That's just me, because I run the show here, Hefty. Uh, take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.